ट्वेंटी फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम एवेल्युएट इंटेग्रल ऑफ टू एक्स प्लस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन डी एक्स सो नाउ सोल्यूशन i is equal to integral of 2x plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1 dx. What do you observe in this problem? Just by observation, we came to know that this 2x plus 1 is nothing but the derivative of x square plus x plus 1. Is it correct? Yes. Derivative of x square is 2x. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of 1 is 0. That means d by dx of x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1. That means if it is f of x, f of x, this will be f dash x. If it is f of x, this will be f dash x. Now it is in the form of f dash x by f of x. So this is equal to log mod x square plus x plus one plus constant of integration. Since integral f dash x by f of x dx is equal to log mod f of x plus c. Now let us go to twenty fifth problem. Twenty-fifth. Evaluate integral a x to the power of n minus one by b x to the power of n plus c dx. Now, let us say i is equal to a common integral one by sorry. x to the power of n minus one by b x to the power of n plus c dx. See, let us differentiate this one now. d by dx of b x to the power of n plus c that's equal to n b x to the power of n minus one. Now multiply and divide by n b. a by n b integral of n b x to the power of n minus one by b x to the power of n plus c dx. Suppose this is f of x. This will be f dash x. Now this is nothing but in the form of integral f dash x by f of x dx, which equal to log mod f of x plus constant of integration. So this we can write a by n b times logarithm of mod b x to the power of n plus c plus constant of integration. Twenty sixth one. Evaluate integral of one by x log x. Into log of log x dx. So now solution. Let us say i is equal to integral of one by x log x by log of log x dx. See. Log of log x to derivative. Log of log x to derivative is one by log x into one by x. This will be the derivative of this one. So integral f dash x by f of x dx. This is equals to log mod f of x plus c. So this is equal to log mod log of Log x plus constant of integration. Next, let us move to the twenty seventh problem. Twenty seventh. The twenty seventh is evaluate integral of 
cot hx dx. Now solution say i is equal to integral cot hx dx. So, let us express cot hx in terms of cos hx and sin hx. So, integral this can be written cos hx by sin hx dx. This is numerator by denominator. If we observe here numerator is the derivative of the denominator. So, that is why we can appear we can apply the same formula for this one also. So, now since cos h x is the derivative of sin h x, this is in the form of integral f dash x by f of x dx. This is log mod f of x plus c. This equal to log mod sin h x plus c. Now, the 20 cent problem has been completed. Let us go to the 28th. 28. Evaluate integral 1 by root over 1 minus 4 x square dx. First take out 4 common, square root of 4 is 2. So, this it becomes like this. 1 by root of 1 minus 4 x square dx can be written like this 1 by 2 integral 1 by root of 1 by 4 minus x square dx. That is in the form of 1 by a square minus x square. So, 1 by 2 integral 1 by root of 1 by 2 whole square minus x square dx. We have the formula integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x by a plus c. This formula we have. Using this, now we write this one. We can write 1 by 2 sin inverse of x by 1 by 2. x by 1 by 2 means x by 1 into 2 by 1 that is 2 x. So, half times sin inverse 2 x plus constant of integration. Twenty ninth one evaluate integral of dx by root of 25 plus x square. Now, this i is equal to integral dx by root of 25 plus x square. This can be written 1 by 25 can be written as 5 square plus x square dx we have the standard result that is integral of 1 by root of a square plus x square dx. This equal to sin h inverse x by a plus constant of integration. This is the formula we have. So, this can be written now sin h inverse x by phi plus constant of integration. Next problem is 30th one. Evaluate integral 1 by x plus 3 root of x plus 2 dx. Now, let us say i is equal to integral 1 by x plus 3 into root of x plus 2 dx. Here substitute or put x plus 2 is equal to t square. Differentiate both sides. 
to x this will be 2 t dt by dx. Now, 2 2 gets cancelled here we have x differentiation is sorry the here x plus 2 differentiation is 1 this is 2 t dt 2 t dt. So, now d x is equal to we can write 2 t dt. Let me repeat once again x plus 2 is equal to t square differentiate with respect to x, x differentiation is 1, 2, 0, 1 is equal to t square is 2 t and d t by d x. Now, d x is equal to 2 t d t. So, since x plus 2 is equal to t square, x plus 3 is equal becomes adding 1 on both sides t square plus 1. Now, this can be written 1 by t square plus 1 of root of t square is t dx is 2 t dt. Now, t t gets cancelled. Now, 2 taken outside 2 times integral of 1 by 1 plus t square dt. This is a standard result. So, we get 2 tan inverse t. So, what is t? t is x t is nothing but so, t square is x plus 2, t we have to find out. Since t square is equal to x plus 2, t equals to root over x plus 2. So, now this becomes 2 times tan inverse of root of x plus 2 plus constant of integration.